Здравствуйте. We are drinking a Rogue Hazelutely Chocto Fabulous. A candy bar in a bottle. Let's see what he does. Oh, like. God. <laughs> actually, it's, it's written right here, man. I didn't, I didn't make that line up. It actually says candy bar in a bottle. Oh, I'm going to hate this beer. <laughs> So judged it. it tells me that I've it's already like, judged it. Sixty <laughs> percent hazelnut ale and forty percent chocolate stout. Brewed with chocolate. It doesn't tell me what percent alcohol it is. Interesting. On the front, so they're trying to hide it somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh, five point seven. That's oh, it's not just for that. Yeah, it's a little bit lower than what we just said. Mm-hmm. There's too much candy bar in there. Yeah. <laughs> Hazel. Okay. Yeah, it's probably going to be like drinking the yeah, Dutch pour. <laughs> oh, probably. <laughs> that's not exactly. That's probably where it came from, actually. Which I don't understand the obsession with. I it's am good. Not a fan. Really? Yeah. It's good, I but I have a weird Nutella. Oh, Nutella. I have a weird because it's a Dutch thing to <laughs> white bread buttered with either just sugar sprinkled on it. Okay. Or like the little chocolate sprinkles, just on a piece of bread. So I feel like the toe would fit really well with that. I used to eat that as a kid, just sugar on bread. We ate now, cinnamon toast, toast, so it's yeah, sugar either. and yes. cinnamon yes. on bread. No, just white sugar yeah. on white bread. Yeah. Yeah. If you add cinnamon, oh. though, it makes it good. It would make it much better. Yeah. Even the chocolate <laughs> sprinkles on bread. You're adding it's a spices. Weird. Like huh? yeah. you're adding spices. Yeah, yeah. just adding sugar. Strong, hazelnut, chocolatey smell. Ooh. That doesn't smell as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Very chocolatey and milky. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do not like that. <laughs> <laughs> it is like, it is, it is, it's sweet. It's I, 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 I don't like sweet things typically, so I can tell already. I would, I would not want to eat this with pizza. <laughs> or milky stuff. Or drink this yeah. with pizza, yeah. Uh, to desserts. <laughs> <laughs> It's slightly root beery. Like there's a, I, I get yeah, root beer yeah, after. It's not nearly really as strong as I thought it was going to be. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. No. No, it's actually, yeah, kind of weak. Um, there's not a lot of anything. I guess it's really... I wonder how old this one is. <clears throat> I think the shadow may have overpowered it. When I smell it, all I smell is like milk. I mean, like in a, like a stout. It's just like really creamy smelling. Yeah, yeah. But then when I taste it, I don't really taste that as much. It definitely has some creaminess to it. That's it's only four months old. So it is it is lighter than the last one. Yeah. You can see. There's yeah. A, a, through it a bit more. I don't. I don't know. It's not as bad as I was expecting. <laughs> it's it's not as strong. To the me. marketing no, is worse than the taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this rogue has like a. Cookie or like a ice cream sundae or some cra- another crazy or cupcake or something that's that's sweet that's really it's comes across as be super sweet but it's not as sweet as you think it's going to be either. Okay, so this is dedicated to Seb and Chris. For years, our hardest core local fans have been drinking in a blend of chocolate stout and hazelnut brown and hector. Uh, they say it tastes like a chocolate candy bar. We have taken those two absolutely fabulous beers and fused them together to create hazelnutty. Chocolate, tabulous, dark and decadent, with a rich, nutty flavor from <laughs> up front, followed by a chocolate truffle finish. We're thrilled to share our little secret with the world. This needs a couple mm. scoops of vanilla ice cream in it. Like a beer float. Yeah, yeah. beer float. That'd be That'd work. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Of that. I, I don't want to drink any more of it. Yeah. Like yes. after this, I'm gonna be like, I'm good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like as compared, like I could have drank a whole bottle of the last one. Well, I I don't despise it, but it's just um, not strong. The hazelnut no, isn't pronounced. It's not. Yeah, that's the problem. It smells stronger than it tastes. Yeah. I don't like smelling it every time I go to drink it. I hate the smell of it. Mm. The taste of it isn't as bad, but the smell, I, I don't mm. like it. Because mm-hmm. it smells creamy. Yeah. <laughs> Chocolate stout and hazelnut brown. So that's interesting, though, at the brewery, they must have been mixing them, and then and the people want that to mm-hmm. create it. Okay. Well, I like the story of that. Where's Rogue from again? Colorado, Oregon, out west somewhere. 
Yeah, tell your fans that they're not always right. <laughs> I'm sure somebody likes this. <laughs> I wonder if you could like try, try the hazelnut brown nectar ale. A bit. But, mm-hmm. I'm sure they sell. That's probably the, the taste stuff. I'm liking, and then I'm smelling the forty percent chocolate, chocolate stuff. stuff. Yeah, because I might like the hazelnut mm-hmm. nectar ale. It does make me want to go to a brewery and be like, "Can you give me 50 50 Like, yeah, just oh, like just start just mixing that? beers. Oh, yeah, yeah. there's breweries that do yeah. that purposely. Like, it's a hmm. thing. Well, black and tans, that's what they are. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. Like, that's yeah. That's but there's example. other ones that like they do that as a thing. Like they brew beers that are supposed to be mixed together. Yeah, or they just, or or just the brewers and the bartenders are just like, hey, let's see what this tastes like together. That's what I'd be doing. Mm -hmm. It's fun. (laughs) Have y'all ever roasted chestnuts in an open fire? (laughs) Only on a closed fire. (laughs) Closed fire, okay. Well, that's fair. (laughs) No, I couldn't pick a chestnut. A chest <laughs> chestnut out of a lineup a of chestnut nuts. Out of a lineup of nuts, yeah. <laughs> That's right. The police are valuable mug shots. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I could either. If it was with like a peanut and a <laughs> I I think think it's it's like, like, a, like a fuzzy a walnut outside uh, pecan. I know what Isn't that a walnut? Pecan. I know what pecans look like. It's yeah. walnuts are that like a walnut off a tree is like a big green ball yeah. until the walnut's inside it. Yeah. yeah. If there was a walnut and a pecan you can Could I tell those? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yes. they're not similar. The one that looks like a brain. I thought they were. And the pecan is like. like a I don't know. I know what a pecan looks like. Okay. Then but I don't walnut. know what a walnut looks like. Yeah, like well, a nut. It, it looks like a little brain. By it's all wrinkly. Process or are we talking about just the like outside or the inside? I'm talking about the outside. Yeah. I mean, Aren't they like similar the on the outside? The walnut and the. No. Okay. No, no pecan is super smooth on that side. Yeah, it's smooth. Oh. They do look Similar to the untrained eye. Yeah. <laughs> like, the actual nuts do... Yeah, it's weird. Hazelnuts must be... Because they're in a lot of... Well, they're in a lot of beer, but they're in a lot of different things, but they're not... Like, in a thing of mixed nuts, is there hazelnuts in there? Usually not, right? It's like pecans, pistachios... Oh, is hazelnut a nut that you just yeah. eat? Is it a nut? Or is it a, like a spice in a flavor? No, it's a nut. I don't know. I bet it's... I think it's a nut. <laughs> It's an actual Because nut. they make sure uh, bu- nut butter out of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's my reasoning. I'm sure it's an actual nut. It's probably what if flawed it's, logic, but... Yeah. What if it's super <laughs> expensive or something where it's hard to... Or, or relatively... Yeah, or, or it doesn't... Maybe it doesn't taste it. good by itself. Maybe. Yeah. And what you is think it, it's like the mixed nut? What is Nutella? Do? Is it just like hazelnut? Is it so hazelnut, butter, chocolate. and chocolate. chocolate and butter. Got it. Huh. It must taste good, though, because people love it. What, Nutella? Yeah, well, hazelnuts. Because people love them in all sorts of things, well, they're super but, trendy. But in the pure yeah. form. Ever since you know, like, it <laughs> became big, I think hazelnuts have really taken off. Yeah, it is. It's all a marketing big. scheme. Yeah. It is. Because <laughs> Nutella's been around since I was a little kid. Like, it's not new. But people act like it's a new thing. It's become hip to yeah. eat yeah. Nutella yeah. and get hazelnut coffee at Starbucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so then it, you see it in I everything know. else. Like, hazelnutty Hazelnut's way better than pumpkin spice. Chocolate. <laughs> just going to say that Choc- right Choc- Chocolatabulous. Chocolatabulous. Oh, yeah. Chocolatabulous. Candy bar in a bottle. It's not nearly the trendy. Hazelutely. It's not trendy like pumpkin spice. I'll take hazelnut uh, pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> PSL. Pumpkin spice everything. PSL. PSLs. Oh. I don't think I've had one before. Spice must fly. I get, I get one a year. Yeah. Ugh. Just yeah. to Peppermint. join just, the just, trend for yeah. a day. Well, just, just to remember, because I do yeah. enjoy them, but they are really sweet. I, yeah. See, I like can't take overwhelmingly super sweet stuff, drinks especially. But like you get one early, like do you put enough espresso kick off, in your mocha? Kick Does it become a sweet bitter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to, I have I to tell them at Starbucks <laughs> like last six years, yeah. sweet stuff. Because if I do a regular mocha, like it's too sweet because I do like three or four shots of espresso. It it balances it for me. I want to get it when shopping at Target and buying hazelnut. Target. Target. That's it. I get I get it all out of the way. Blasphemy to Target. Yeah. But you're not allowed to do that. It's fine. <laughs> Follow your rules. Competitive rent. analysis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what do you think about the uh, hazelnutty chocolate chocolate tabulous <laughs> chocolate tabulous? Mm. It's not as chocolate tabulous, no. nor it's not the worst stout I've ever hazelnut. drank. Yeah, it's okay. That's all. It's not as interesting as I yeah. was hoping it would be. It's a little bland. It, for, it, for it bland. is, yeah. It's a little flat. Yeah. It seems like, yeah. It tastes like... <clears throat> it's not, yeah, just as strong as... 
I mean, Rogue does do a great job. Maybe the mix is, is wrong. You know, maybe it's 70 30 that. It needs more hazelnut. It needs more hazelnut, yeah. 80 20. Mm. Just like my beef, right? <laughs> Just get rid of the stout part of it. 100 <laughs> 0. 100 0. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Uh, then you could get rid of the choctabulous right. Right. marketing there. Uh, that was a good try, Rogue. That was a good try. <laughs> don't don't forget to dream. Mm. Yeah. And, and, take, and take a the risk. Dream. Take a risk. Did the, the, dream, dream. Did the dream turn into a nightmare? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. A nightmare is still technically a dream. It's just oh, that's yeah. true. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>